Hello and welcome back. The final step in making your pack raft airtight is sealing the front and back center seams. Start by laying out your pack raft top side up with the front end pointing towards you. Fold a two centimeter tab at the end of your narrow strip and tack it to the inside of the floor with your iron. Then place a piece of parchment paper under the strip, bring the tube pieces together over top of it and begin bonding them together. To accommodate the curved sides of the tube pieces, you'll soon find it necessary to place a bowl under the seam. As you move farther along the seam, accessing it from the inside side of the tube will become too awkward. When that happens, move your bowl inside the tube and finish the seam by sealing it from the narrow strip side. To finish off the seam, bond the strip all the way around to the outside of the floor. Use the technique described in the tip video from step two to ensure that the end of the seams line up properly without excess fabric bunching up on one side. When you reach the end, trim the narrow strip to length, leaving a one centimeter tab at the end of the strip that you can fold back to bond to the floor piece. When that's done, remove the bowl from inside the tube by sliding it out the far end of your pack raft. To prevent a leak from forming where the corners of the tube pieces bond to the floor, spread some glue here after the seam is completed by reaching in from the far end of the tube before you seal the rear center seam. Now that the front center seam is done, it's time to seal the rear center seam. Begin it in the same way as the front center seam. Because the radius of the pointed stern is small, you'll find it helpful to have a smaller bowl available, as well as your regular sized bowl. It's difficult to wrap a narrow strip around the point without creating wrinkles, so instead of bonding a single 175 centimeter strip all the way around the seam, you'll find it easier to cut two strips, 115 and 60 centimeters, and have them meet at the point. Add some glue here to ensure that an airtight seal is formed where the two strips meet. The bottom part of the rear center seam is straight, so no bowl will be required there. You can put a piece of parchment paper under the seam there, seal that area, and then pull the parchment paper out through the Boston valve. Just make sure you remember to remove your bowls from inside the pack raft before it's too late, because unless you've installed an airtight zipper, you'll have to cut a hole in the pack raft to remove them. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe so you'll be notified when my next video is posted. Thanks for watching.